The Albion step out at the Emirates to face Arsenal with just two weeks to go in this extraordinary Premier League season. The finish line may be in sight, but there's so much left to be decided. Brighton have already set new club records for the most points, wins and goals scored in a top flight season, but they want to make further history by qualifying for Europe for the first time ever. For Arsenal, their first title since 2004 is still within reach. There's so many twists and turns still to come, starting this afternoon in North London. Underway at the Emirates then. The Albion versus Arsenal. They won here in the league last season. They won here in the League Cup earlier this season. Can they do it again? It'll take some doing. Arsenal have been in sparkling form throughout almost the entirety of the season. And that's a, an early blow for Martin Erdegaard, the Arsenal captain who flew towards Estepinian to block his attempted ball down the line and gets the ball full in the face for his troubles. Oh, that would have hurt. Sure, he'll be okay, but he'll need to be checked over. The game just seconds old, and already treatment for the Arsenal skipper. Moises Caicedo, another wonderful season for him. Some virtuoso midfield displays. He really is the engine of this Brighton team. Martin Odegaard on his feet, which will be a relief to all around the Emirates. 15 goals already this season, Martin Odegaard. Five in his last five Premier League games. On a hot streak of form. Flicked forward by Enciso, intercepted by Martinelli. Now Odegaard. Is Jakob Kivior, young defender signed in January who has ousted Rob Holding from the team in the continued absence of first choice William Saliba. goes to Colwell who wraps his foot around it. It's helped on for McAllister and further on for Caicedo. Looks like he's going to be playing on the right hand side, nominally at right back with Gross in midfield. Makes sense with the pace of Martinelli down that flank for the hosts. Pinha back to Colwell. Well, these sides have played out a couple of thrilling games already this season in the League Cup. The Albion won 3 1 here despite going behind to Eddie and Ketia's goal. Mitoma scoring. Welbeck with his first of the season from the spot. And Tarek Lamptey not available today. Brighton giving away a cheap corner there, the first of the afternoon. It'll be the Brazilian Martinelli, hands on hips, in front of the away fans. Just sizing things up in the penalty area. Martinelli swings it in, Caicedo away. Oh, Martinelli clattering into his man. Andrew Madley, the man in the middle, goes over. Caicedo goes to remonstrate. Lewis Dunk 
checking out his teammate as well. I think it's Kaoru Matoma on the floor. Game less than five minutes old. It is Mitoma. Game less than five minutes old already. The second head injury of the afternoon. One completely accidental. How about this one? Well, that's a bit of a rash challenge from Martinelli. Eyes on the ball, but he... Oh, he absolutely clatters Mitoma there. Rash rather than malicious, I think, from Martinelli. And Andrew Madley agrees with that assessment. VAR seemed to as well. Matoma seems OK. White. All the way back to Ramsdale. Really interesting tactically from Brighton so far. Very interesting indeed. Arsenal go long. It's well won by Caicedo. Jesus takes over. Lewis Dunk gets a block in and gets it away. Now Granite Xhaka. Mitoma intercepts. That's one of the interesting tactical deployments. So often on the left, Mitoma is on the right with Caicedo today. McAllister pushing high in support, Saka. Great block, it's going to drop to Erdegaard. He fainted and he can't get his shot away. Might be another injury in there, is it Gilmore? Brighton have a free kick, they can relieve the pressure, but that was an opening for the host. Lewis Dunk with a rare sloppy pass, Saka. Couldn't get the shot off, it was blocked. Odegaard crowded out. And hacked clear by Colwell. And McAllister getting very high in support of Evan Ferguson. Caicedo leaping in here. A fast and frantic start with plenty of little errors and Rough challenges, Martinelli on Mitoma moments ago, and now Caicedo on Martinelli. Maybe a little bit of retribution, Andrew Madley waving away the protests of the Arsenal players who want a yellow for that tackle. He did leap in. It looked a lot worse than it actually was. Martinelli felt it, Andrew Madley explaining his position. It's what you want to see from referees, having a chat with the players and just explaining why they have come to a certain decision. Gabriel Jesus clearly disagrees, but that is often the case. He wants some punishment for Caicedo, knowing that that would make the game very difficult for the young Ecuadorian up against Martinelli and now Mikel Arteta wants a word with his captain Martinelli really did feel that. Limping away off the pitch. Here was his challenge on Mitoma, which wasn't clever. Jumping straight into Kaoru Mitoma and then Caicedo catching the Brazilian, 
was a theatrical fall and immediately put his hand up to say he was hurt. But Martinelli seems OK. Well, we're going to see plenty of added on time at the end of this half at this rate. So many stoppages. Not even ten minutes played yet. Good ball to Estepinian. Estepinian looking for Ferguson, it drops for Gilmore. Gilmore trying a spectacular pass to Mitoma. Too close to Ramsdale. Tactically, look at this, because Colwell is a centre-back, but he's pushing right up on Martin Odegaard, just trying to stop the Arsenal skipper, get the ball. Look how deep Odegaard is and how high Colwell is. Saka, Ben White in support, Saka wriggles clear of Enciso, now White, and White just passes it tamely to Steele. Well, the Arsenal shape very much as we've come to expect. Roberto De Zerbi has sprung some surprises, four changes from the Everton game, and players playing in positions very different to the ones they've become accustomed to. Colwell has to retreat. Oh, given away almost. What a risky pass. Now Gross goes over the top. That's a good-looking ball, a very good-looking ball. And Ciso. And Ciso with White for company. And Ciso! And Ramsdale had to claw it away. First chance for Brighton, fell to Enciso. This pass, so risky from Steele, but it paid off. It reached Gross, and then that was an epic long ball over the top of White. He got back well, but Enciso's trickery just got half a yard of space, and Ramsdale forced into the save. Caught it well, it was on the rise. Needed saving. Albion's first corner of the afternoon at the Emirates. It's going to have to be retaken, I think, because Andrew Madley is needing a word with a couple of players. Lewis Duncan, Granite Xhaka. Granite Xhaka holding Lewis Duncan. So bizarre. Gilmore there now to offer some support. Gross made to wait. Now he clips it in. Arsenal can break with Martinelli. Infield to Xhaka, and Xhaka overruns it. McAllister, McAllister sets off, he's got Estepinian in support, and Ciso down the line. Infield to Gilmore, good looking ball as well, Gilmore was caught there, Mitoma. Out on the right, be interesting to see how he gets on with a switch of sides today. Can be so devastating off that left flank, cutting in field onto his favoured right. And Ciso keeps it in. And then Ciso keeps it and wins the foul. Well played, and Ciso shielded it from White. It looked like he'd lost it, but got his body in between White and the ball.
Another chance for Gross to deliver. This time from deep. A wall of red shirts punctuated by those in blue and white. Gross goes short. McAllister to Gilmore. Acres of space for Gilmore. Straight onto the head of Kivior. Now Arsenal look to break again. Taken quickly by Gabriel, Erdogan, Saka, Saka coming in field, Jesus with the first time touch, Erdogan lining it up and it's not far wide, may have even touched the post on its way behind, got his head over it, kept it low, took a deflection and in the end comfortably wide. Touch from McAllister, Estepinian in field. Colwell waits to be closed down. Arsenal pressing high with three, trying to block the route out. So Jason Steele goes long. It's a good-looking ball as well. Ramsdale just flicks it up to Martinelli. And then Ferguson catches Martinelli in the wars again. Gabriel Martinelli. I want to get Evan Ferguson on the ball a lot more than they have managed to in the opening 16 minutes. He's barely had a kick. against Arsenal earlier in the season, Evan Ferguson. Albion lost that game 4-2 at the Amex. Ball to Jesus, now White. Erdegaard. There's to Pignan. reads it well, Saka gets back well. White getting a, an important touch. Erdegaard losing out in Ciso. And Ciso, look at that for a pass, caresses it with the outside of his boot. Ferguson and Gabriel wins a first duel with Ferguson. Such a talent, Evan Ferguson. Well, we're going to see a change here and a familiar face to all Albion fans. Leandro Trossard, who started on the bench, is going to come on for Martinelli, who is struggling following, you would think, the challenge by Moises Caicedo that left him on the floor in pain. Caicedo is offering a consoling word. But Gabriel Martinelli has run his race. And that challenge has done for him. Warmly applauded off the field by the home fans. But what a replacement. Leandro Trossard bought from Brighton in the January transfer window. 25 goals in 116 Premier League appearances for Brighton. Now wears the colours of Arsenal. And he is on in place of Martinelli. Great ball. 
Another risky one. Both sides happy to take risks. Here's Tierney. And Trossard's first touch is to see it trundle out of play. It was a poor ball in truth from Tierney. That right-hand side for the Albion. Arsenal's left could be key this afternoon. Usually Zinchenko and Martinelli for Arsenal. But due to injury, it's now Tierney and Trossard. And so often this season, it's been Veltman and March for Brighton. And this afternoon, Caicedo and Mitoma. Steel goes short and gets it back. Ferguson prods it forward, but not close enough to Matoma. Mr. Pinian fouling Saka. Not much in that. Not much in it at all, actually. Ferguson's won it back and shields it from his fellow forward, Gabriel Jesus. Another player down. And another player looking in some pain. That's Jorginho. He's saying he just needs a minute. And he wants to show Andrew Madley the effects of the tackle. been caught but the referee was right there looked like a good battle he may have just been caught by a, a stud or it's just not a lot in that at all Gilmore good ball from Gilmore and CISO and he's offside The hosts playing the offside trap to perfection on that occasion. Tony Bloom in attendance on a warm day. He'll have enjoyed the opening 22 minutes, Albion very competitive is a boost after last week's well let's be honest it was a horror show against Everton Saka it's gone out Saka hit the post but the ball had already gone out he's so tenacious isn't he Bukayo Saka refused to give this one up Estepinha wanted it to roll out Very close, very close indeed. Oh, McAllister's lost it. Erdegaard, Erdegaard down the line for Jesus. And Jesus forces the stop from Jason Steele at his near post. Good press from Arsenal here. McAllister hounded off it, Erdegaard slipping it into Jesus, one touch to set, and then that, I think, was heading in. Steele stood up strong, makes the stop. Tease that one in right underneath the crossbar. Going to get another go here. Estepinian goes out to meet him. Saka 
measures it in. That one was much easier to clear. Half-hearted handball appeals, I think. Gilmore. And Trossard blocking Gilmore's attempted clearance, but Andrew Madley's given a goal kick here. A couple of ricochets, Trossard the last to touch it. Vincent Company, the Burnley manager in attendance. He knows a thing or two about winning titles. Arsenal look like they might fall just short this season. They really have to win this afternoon. And that would cut the gap to Manchester City. But it still might not be enough if the blue side of Manchester keep winning. Brighton's European fate very much in their own hands. And they'll have a big say in the title race as well, playing Arsenal this afternoon and Manchester City before the season ends. And CISO. McAllister. Well dealt. Ramsdale threads it. Dunk can't get it back. Now Trossard skipping forward. Tierney comes to join him. Trossard looks up. Mitoma blocks his path to goal. And then Evan Ferguson completes the job. Good work from Ferguson. Lovely work, in fact. And then Gilmore is fouled. Granit Xhaka, furious. Look at his reaction. He felt he was the one who was fouled. To be fair to Granit Xhaka, who often has run-ins with referees, it did look as if he wrestled back possession from Gilmore and was then brought down himself, but it was good work on Trossard initially. First Mitoma, then Ferguson. Gilmore released. Hmm. Ramsdale measures it out to White, but not well enough. His calculations were incorrect. Berto De Zerbi surveying the scene. He'll be delighted that the game goalless at the moment. His side yet to hit top gear and carve out Many openings of note, that in CISO chance about the best of them. That's a good ball from Steele, a very good ball, because it's set Caicedo on his way. Now in CISO, Estepinian desperate to get forward. Options, left, right and centre, but in CISO wrestled off the ball by Saka, who screened his defence well. Then Odegaard loses it. Just a few signs that the tempo is increasing at the Emirates. Good flick there to Jesus. Not the best pass, though. Brighton ball. Mr. Pinan looks for options. Plenty of movement. Precise from Colwell. He's going to get it back from Dunk here. Oh, 
Oh, loose from Estepinha, very loose, and then a foul by Gilmore, Jorginho baying for a booking. Just needs to let the referee do his job. Probably is a yellow, that, but no need to tell the ref it's not going to play in your favour. And Ciso, great work from Enciso. Dancing feet from the young Paraguayan. He's still going as well. Can't quite force it to McAllister. Now Erdegaard. Arsenal win it back and break. Trossard. Tierney with the overlap. Trossard in field. And Trossard glances the crossbar. Everything opened up in front of Trossard there. He just couldn't find the finish. And Ciso threatening to take them all on. Then Albion lost it. Arsenal lightning quick here to release Trossard into space and it all just opened up and it just clips the top of the crossbar on its way through. Took a deflection off Gross as well, an important one. So close for Arsenal. Colwell goes long, Matoma racing after it. Might fall to Enciso but it will be a throw, and it's Arsenal's way. Kivior to Ramsdale, who gets good distance on his kick. He was stuck, does well. And Ferguson was offside and knew it. Frustration grows around the Emirates. Trossard, the closest to opening the scoring so far against his old club. The block from Colwell, that's what he's in there to do, Mitoma. And that'll be easy for Steele. Steel. Booming kick, the accuracy on that. Pinpoint. Colwell looking over the top. Estepinian goes after it. He'll get there as well. White not far away. Back to McAllister. Infield to Lewis Dunn. Now they'll try the right-hand side. They haven't really brought the right-hand side into play that much this afternoon. Might do now with Gross. Arsenal forcing the Albion back. Gross outside of the boot. McAllister does well. And Ciso holds off Jorginho. And Ciso in his back heel. Doesn't find Estepina, and then Jorginho once again takes the tumble. He's taking a seat, shake of the head. Straight back on his feet. Doesn't ever sit down for long. Estepinian penalised here, and Estepinian the first to go into Andrew Madley's book, a yellow for Purvis Estepinian. Jesus battling with Dunk, and that's a, a nothing yellow card, really. Feels like Purvis Estepinian has been penalised for an accumulation of challenges rather than the actual challenge itself. You can see that in his reaction, very unhappy to be given a yellow.
Andre Trossard on set-piece duties for Arsenal. Curls it in, good-looking delivery as well, and flicked away for a goal kick. Good delivery from Trossard to a dangerous area. Xhaka got the header onto it, but no one there for a second Arsenal touch, which may have proved decisive. Ferguson hauled to the ground by Gabriel, who has the audacity to complain. It's as much of a yellow as Estepinian's was. He had hold of his neck. Colwell on the stretch. And then looks long. Matoma has switched to the left-hand side. Takes on Ben White for the first time. Matoma drops a shoulder. Then gets to the byline, Mitoma rolls it across, so dangerous and over the bar from Enciso, leaning back. Albion have carved out two chances in the half, both of them have fallen to Enciso. Mitoma already doing damage, having just switched to the left. Rapid in behind, and then he was patient. Had the space in behind Ben White, teased him. Then to the byline, such a dangerous cross, and Enciso couldn't turn it in. Matoma's so good at this. Best in the league, really. You know what he's going to do, but you still can't stop him. Well, Enciso, who's found goals to add to his promising play will fancy another at the Emirates this afternoon he is getting into the right positions Jorginho goes short Odegaard, very deep. Not exactly where Arsenal want him. And you really grateful when he's on the ball wherever he is on the pitch. He's so controlled with it, but they want him in more advanced positions. Now he goes after this one as Lewis Dunk steers it calmly back to Steele. Good pressure. Gilmore on the stretch. Esther Pina. Field to Ferguson. Ferguson just eased off it. Ramstow looks long. And Estupinha does well. Steele enjoying himself again. Extended run in the team. Now he's ousted Robert Sanchez as first choice in between the posts for Brighton. Ferguson fouled again by Gabriel, whose reaction is one of anger again.
reasonably quiet afternoon for Jason Steele so far. He's seen plenty of the ball at his feet, less so with his hands having to make saves. In one or two, they've managed to keep title chasing Arsenal at arm's length. Xhaka is after it. They're given away here. And Jesus collects. Jesus, he's got, there's an overload here. Saka and away by Colwell. Brighton living dangerously. McAllister calms things down. And Ciso with the flick. Caicedo stretches his legs from right back and Ciso bursting to get forward. Caicedo, it's lovely for McAllister, left for and Ciso, but he can't dribble his way around Jorginho. McAllister, great turn, away from Saka, away from Jorginho, needs support, gets it from Matoma, who steps in field, Kaoru Matoma, hushed nervousness around the Emirates as soon as Matoma stepped onto that, but they've managed to get it away from him now, Duncan, Lewis, Dunk tried to ping one to Enciso and got right underneath it. Tierney, back to Gabriel, short to Jorginho, it's a deft touch to Xhaka. Ciso almost cutting that one out, and then Trossard winning the free kick from Caicedo. Arteta consulting his notes, half-time approaching, some reorganising to be done perhaps. It was a loose one to Ramsdale who had to sprint after it. Dunk short to Gilmore. Gross. Ciso just about on the stretch, kept that in. Esther Pinian. Now Matoma. Toma in field. Tracked by White. Colwell will do well to get there. And do well he does because he's wrapped his foot right around it. And Ferguson's going to bully Kibior off it, is he? Ferguson! And he just snatches at the chance. Evan Ferguson using his physicality here. How well does Cole will do to keep it in? Really wraps his foot around it. And Ferguson holding off Kivior just snatched it as he looked to beat Ramsdale with a snapshot. Esther Pinha treading a very fine line here, already on a yellow. 
He's fouled Saka. And the assistant has flagged for the foul. Again, not much in it. Had a little glance at Saka. Trossard once again coming over to take it. Five minutes to be added at the end of this first half. Plenty of stoppages, plenty of time left yet. Arsenal looking to hit the front. They'll have a corner. More defending for Brighton to do. Gilmore tasked with marking Xhaka. Saka tasked with delivering the set piece. Easy head away. Once again, Saka gets a second go at it and he releases Trossard and Trossard floats it up. And it's a really good defensive header, not once but twice, then volleyed in, drops to Saka, steadies himself and wide from Bukayo Saka. He's not having the greatest run at the moment after scoring a hatful earlier in the season. Many expected the net to bulge here, but his snapshot drag wide. Caught it sweetly, but the accuracy was lacking. Oh, Will. Oh, Will doing well to win it the second time of asking, then Ferguson lofting it forward. Aceda will get to the second ball and he'll burst past Trossard. Trossard gets back well, McAllister says, leave it to me. McAllister, a rarity for him, just a loose pass. Arsenal tidy up. It's Brighton rather than Arsenal, who are more willing for half time here. Arsenal in the ascendancy in added on time at the end of the first 45. Tierney goes quickly and accurately to Trossard up against Caicedo. Couple of step overs, Caicedo too strong for Trossard. And then Ciso completes the job. Ciso holding it up, but he's lost it. Arsenal play it down, Erdegaard carries on, Erdegaard! And it was neither a cross nor a shot from the Arsenal skipper. He rushed it and he knows it. Bizarre passage of play and Ciso with an easy ball loses it to Xhaka and then well, Odegaard allowed the freedom of the penalty area just to run forward. Cole into McAllister, holds it up. Goes past Jorginho, but he can't win the throw. to the last minute of the five added on. Good ball that from Trossard, look at the space for Saka up against Estepinian, real danger here. Saka goes to the byline and Colwell stands firm and then clips it forward. 
McAllister can only find Kivior with his back here. Arsenal very much on top. Erdegaard with a pocket of space. Saka, white on the overlap. White across, easy for Dunk. And Mitoma completes the clearance. Anywhere will do with the seconds ticking down to half time. Ferguson dumped onto the ground by Gabriel. This time, not a foul. And there is the half time whistle. It's been fast, it's been frantic. Leandro Trossard, ex Albion, has come the closest to breaking the deadlock, but at the break at the Emirates, it's Arsenal nil. Albion nil. Underway in the second half. Arsenal get us started. Nil nil. The scoreline. Delicately poised as Jesus goes for glory in the first few seconds of the half and wins his side a corner. Mikel Arteta likes that, likes that intent from the word go. Plenty yet to take their seats inside the Emirates. But already, Bukayo Saka is placing the ball to take a set-piece that could trouble this Brighton defence. Saka, easy for Estupinian. Odegaard controls it, caressing it onto his left foot. Sado is up, Trossard in field. Good ball there between McAllister and Enciso. Too much room for Xhaka and too much time to think. Enciso finds Gilmore. Gilmore. Ramsdale just pumps it long. Gross on the stretch. Powell to Matoma, that's a clever little flick to McAllister. And CISO collects, and then CISO helps it on, but that'll take some getting for Caicedo. Caicedo can't quite get it back off Trossard, he was close. Steel looking to spray it out to the right hand side has succeeded only in smashing the ball into the face of Gabriel Jesus. We had that to start the first half with Erdegaard caught by Estupinian's clearance and had a repeat to start the second. Look at this from Jason Steele. Jesus is OK, just a little sore on that side of his head, clattered into his ear. Lewis Dunk, great touch from Ferguson. Steel to Cole. Left and Ciso. Matoma's doing some running here to get involved. And Ciso. And Ciso. And Albion run out of steam. Tierney holds off and Ciso had the opportunity to find a teammate. But was looking for glory himself there, I think. Now Arsenal come away with it. Jackal with room again. And it's 
Trossard is caught by Caicedo. Saka down the left. Slipped into Xhaka. And an important block from Lewis Dunk. There was an offside flag anyway. Wouldn't have counted. Even had Xhaka picked out a teammate to score. Teta demanding more. He wants to see his players lift the tempo and go through the gears in this second half to find the win that would keep them within touching distance of Manchester City. Matoma's after this one, and Matoma will get there ahead of White. A little jink in field, Matoma. On the overlap, Estepinian, look at the room for Estepinian. It drops for him, Enciso, and Enciso opens the scoring. The Albion fans in that corner go crazy. And it's Julio Enciso who shows the name on the back of his shirt. A telling contribution from the teenager once again. The match winner at Chelsea and the opening goal scorer in this critical game at the Emirates. <laughs> Arsenal left far too much room in behind for Matoma to run onto that. Matoma dancing in field, waited patiently, picked out Estepinian, his first cross was blocked. His second bobbled into the ground, no offside, and Enciso kept his call. Tierney with the first clearance, then Estepinha, big swing at the ball, and that's a composed finish from Enciso. Little glance to the assistant to check he wasn't offside. Steered expertly past Ramsdale, and Enciso on the score sheet again. Well, he's caused problems. He's almost always a threat. And he's celebrating again. He absolutely loves that. There's more problems that are mounting for Arsenal here. An injury to Jakub Kivior, who was just caught before and Ciso steered it in. taken his boot off as well for treatment not looking good for the Arsenal centre-back who is himself a replacement for a replacement plenty of thinking for Mikel Arteta to do Folded arms, that body language says it all. He's very disappointed to see his side go a goal behind. He was just caught by Ferguson. I don't think any intent whatsoever. Ferguson trying to get to the ball, and Ciso did, and that's why Albion have the lead. Can Arsenal respond all season? They've found ways to win games when not at their best. Now Matoma. Matoma again up against Kivior. He's going to test that injury. Matoma bundled to the ground and he cannot believe a free kick has not been awarded. Or has it? Certainly an Albion ball. Kivior tracking him, and he's fouled him there. Only a throw, though, in front of the away fans who are still celebrating Enciso's opening goal. Saka to Xhaka, to Gabriel. And Enciso fouls Tierney.
Easy to forget, he's still only 19, Julio and Ciso. He was hotly tipped as a star when he signed for Brighton. He took a while to settle in, understandably so. But he's really showing his quality now. A string of great performances in the latter half of the season. Goals to boot. Gross now catches Jorginho and Gross gets a yellow card. A wag of a finger from Gross. And he doesn't think so. Jorginho had overrun it slightly. He did clip him though, quite clearly. Challenge from Ferguson and CISO up. Albion try. Arsenal fans trying to do their bit to rally round the team. Neat and tidy from Arsenal. forward Mr Pinyan is very composed as Jason Steele clips it and then exchanges passes with Gilmore and as Arsenal push up they're going to leave space in behind space for Mitoma to do his thing which is to fly at defenders that time he overran it bit of panic in that Arsenal defence whenever Mitoma gets onto it though they know what he can do, he's scored against them, home and away already this season. Can he add another to what has been a brilliant debut season in the Premier League? Gilmore. Ferguson, too strong for Jorginho, no foul there, Ferguson got Matoma outside him and that's who he uses <laughs> Arsenal now with men behind the ball Matoma resumes his battle with Ben White escape the Arsenal press the noise just going up a couple of levels inside the Emirates as we approach the hour mark good touch by Estepina who slips Trossard got back well, Arsenal are going to get on with this. Xhaka to Erdegaard. He's got Saka outside him, here he is. The England winger into the penalty area. Round this to Pignan, the cutback not accurate enough and Mitoma clears his lines. Easy for Steele. Albin will take that all day long. Those kind of Hollywood passes from Jorginho. Trying to find an isolated Jesus 
Arsenal at their most dangerous when they build up from deep and get their pacey players into space to run at the defence. Double change coming for the Gunners. Thomas Partey is coming on and Rhys Nelson as well. Danny Welbeck is going to join us too. Billy Gilmore off for Danny Welbeck. Intriguing change that. Granit Xhaka is replaced. Thomas Partey comes on and Jorginho is off too. So Thomas Partey and Rhys Nelson on for Jorginho and Granit Xhaka. Danny Welbeck on for Billy Gilmore. Free kick for Brighton. Oh, where will Welbeck play? And Ciso on the right. Mitoma on the left. Looks like Ferguson still the centre forward. And that means Welbeck will tuck in behind that front three. Hedegaard catching Estepinian here. Work from Steele. Lewis Dunk looking for Esther Pinian. Caicedo wins it back. Ferguson sensibly done. Caicedo shrugged off the ball. Reese Nelson, who's made some telling contributions off the bench already this season. Three goals and three assists in 16, mainly substitute appearances. His first contribution here is to foul Moises Caicedo and give Brighton the ball. Gross looks into the penalty area. Plenty of runners. Ramsdale with a solid punch. And an offside flag anyway. That was assertive goalkeeping from Aaron Ramsdale. Saka from deep. Away from Mitoma. Into Jesus. Nelson outside him. Here's Nelson. Infield he goes. Nelson! That was close. Very close from Reese Nelson. Great move from Arsenal. Nelson just shifted it and hit it. Kept it simple. And it almost paid off. It had Jason Steele scrambling and Brighton Hearts in mouths. That's the reaction of manager Mikel Arteta. Caicedo fouled again by Nelson. Mikel Arteta hopping mad outside of his technical area. Feeling the pressure, feeling the strain, knowing that his and his side's title dream is fading away with the minutes here. Andrew Madley is going to have a word with him as well. A yellow card for Mikel Arteta.
they say they're not strong yet. Arteta now appealing for everything. Odegaard out to Saka. Another Arsenal attack takes shape before Kaoru Matoma says, I'll have that, thank you very much. And Albion can bring it clear. Colwell. Brighton could do with keeping it for a bit, taking the sting out of the game. Easier said than done as Steele shows all the composure in the world. McAllister can't thread it through and it's dropped for Trossard and Trossard took too long. He dallied on the ball and Pascal Gross recovered it for the Albion. McAllister trying to force it through, Trossard set off and Pascal Gross kept being simple. Bit of space for Duck. Now being happy to go back to their ball playing goalkeeper Jason Steele who's been terrific. Jason Steele commands his area there, calling for the ball and wants someone to set off on a run so he can launch it long. Instead, he'll take his time. Well, back. They dug that out very nicely to Lewis Dunk. Now, well, back. to Enciso and Welbeck has gone beyond his man Danny Welbeck here lining it up and dipping a shot wide of the post great strength from Welbeck great appreciation of space Thomas Partey wants a foul for something must have been this instant with Welbeck ridiculous call from Thomas Partey he just didn't want it enough Too strong for Jesus, that's been the story of the afternoon. A brilliant performance from Lewis Dunk. Mitoma, look how he stepped away from White there, such clever footwork. Mitoma races towards the area, Mitoma, infield he comes. Great saving challenge from Saka, still a chance and Esther Pinian curls it high and wide. Breathtaking from Kaoru Matoma again. Look at this. Totally fools Ben White. Little grimace from him. Yukaya Saka with outstanding defensive work to deny a certain goal. Still so much time left in the game. There's one of his Japanese teammates, not available to Arsenal. This afternoon, Tommy Yasu. Now McAllister. Trossard is with him. Ferguson is there. Ferguson up against Gabriel. And Ciso. Ferguson. It's well dealt with. Ramsdale scrambles it clear. Last ditch, but effective from Arsenal. Matoma again. Albion threatening a second here. Welbeck. Caicedo. Enciso. Caicedo has been majestic at right back. Looks unbeatable defensively and he just gets forward so well to support in attack. McAllister. Hester Pinian making that overlapping run. And Saka once again having to do the hard yards defensively. Albion corner. Look at the run from Esther Pinian. He's deeper than the ball when the move starts and then flies forward. It's 
Not happy a cross didn't go over though. He's feeling it again. Fury on the face of Deserby. Gross swirls it in. Esther Pina looks up. Out to the right, Caicedo. Nelson was a little too eager to get to it. McAllister. Back out to Enciso. Enciso teases his way to the byline and it's easy for Ramsdale. Now Arsenal look to break quickly, but they haven't got numbers forward. Welbeck has fouled Odegaard. Wasn't anybody forward. Twenty minutes to play. Twenty minutes for the Albion to either hold on to what they've got or ideally add to their lead. Arsenal won't let this go lightly. Here's White. Party. Erdegaard slips it into Trossard straight at Steele. Good movement. Chris passing. Good goalkeeping. Erdegaard unlocking the door here. Slam shut by Steele. Colwell. Floats it down the line. Matoma can't keep it. Two substitutes combining Nelson and Party. Now Gabriel. Erdegaard very deep, so eager to get on the ball and get involved. Kivior. Well played, Estepina. Well played, Bright. It's a foul here. Estepina thought he was away. It was so well worked. Saka has gone down. Harry Matoma being warned here. And this is why he blocked off Bukayo Saka. Well spotted by the referee. Into Jesus, good turn from him. He's got Nelson outside him, Jesus still going, still going. And that is a telling touch from Caicedo. Now Caicedo feels like he's brought down, and he is. Brilliant refereeing from Andrew Madley. Arteta on a yellow still has plenty to say. The frustration grows for Arsenal. Great work initially from Jesus. Quick feet and into the area. And then he fouls Caicedo. Oh well, long, white, wins it easily. Ramsdale goes long. They say that with a towering header. And CISO needed to keep that. Starting to look a little tired, Julio and CISO. Arsenal starting to run out of ideas to break down this resolute Brighton defence. Mitoma. Good 
the challenge by White. Hasn't gone out, though. White leaving a bit on Matoma there. Yes. All the way back to Steele. The way Brighton keep the ball and just can use their goalkeeper playing out from the back is really frustrating Arsenal. They're used to having it almost all their own way this season, but that has not been the case this afternoon. Better side in the first half, the hosts. They have been bested in this second so far, and Julio and Ciso's goal, the telling contribution as we head into the final 15 minutes. from Jesus wonderful stuff Paisano it's going to go home and Jason Steele says enough of the passing out from the back let's get it forward Welbeck no hand ball and Ciso Welbeck's in field and Ciso goes down Welbeck still picking his way through the former Arsenal man and a strike there was so close to a second McAllister latched onto it and in the blink of an eye he'd launched it goalwards almost brilliant great work from Welbeck look at that from McAllister inches wide another change here Evan Ferguson looks like he's going off. More changes for Arsenal as well. Gabriel Jesus comes off. Ferguson off for Buonanotte. Jesus goes off for Eddie and Ketia. And Martin Erdegaard comes off for Emil Smith Rowe. The final throws of the dice for Arsenal. Smith Rowe and Enketia come on. And Welbeck will go up top now with Buonanotte out on the right hand side. And Ciso is into a more central position. The tactics have been bold from Deserby. When are they not? So far, they've worked an absolute charm, and now Enciso has gone down. And Enciso, something has happened here, and that's not good. Cramp, perhaps. He doesn't look good, Julio Enciso. Here's his goal. Great work from Estepinian on the overlap again. Kept it alive with a bit of a swing of his right boot and Ciso unmarked. Lovely steered header beyond Ramsdale. Made it look easy. Celebrations in the away end, and Ciso showing them his name that they love to sing. Hopefully, there'll be many more goals like that from Julio and Ciso. Berto De Zerbi watches on as his teenage talent, Julio and Ciso, gets treatment for an unspecified injury. Hopefully, just a touch of cramp, but they may be forced into another change. Although, I think he's going to try and come back on. McAllister was caught there. McAllister now riding around on the turf. First touch for Buonanotte. Doesn't have much by way of support. Only Welbeck ahead of him, so Albion go back and Gross puts it into touch.
is why McAllister is down. Just caught by Teddy Enketia. Thank you, uh, catches him. Physios have earned their money this afternoon. It is Enketia. Callister's okay. And then Cesar's got to go off here. And Roberto De Zerbi already troubled by injuries. Is going to have to make another change. Bit of a blow considering he just made two. And he or just made one with Buonanotte, he would have liked to have known minutes before, but you can't plan for these things. And then Ciso looks visibly upset by the injury that has befallen him. Dennis Undav comes on to take his place. Ciso limps off. Looks like the outside of his right leg. Let's hope he's OK for Thursday night and the visit to Newcastle. But first, there's nine minutes of the 90 plus added on time for Brighton to navigate, to hang on to what could be the most precious three points of their season. And Dennis Undavon. And Arsenal put it into the corner, which is fine as it goes, but very unsporting. Could have just given it back to the goalkeeper and allowed them to start again. Pascal Gross not at all happy. And now the throw goes Arsenal's way. Kieran Tierney looking to get on with it. Arsenal now have to do everything in a hurry. It's fallen to... McAllister who prods it to Estepinian, into Undav. And Estepinian won't get to that. And Ketia picks it up. Field to Nelson and Nelson away from McAllister. Nelson still going and Lewis Dunk makes the block. Eyes on the ball the whole time. Lewis Dunk. Nelson calls for the noise. Trossard goes over to take it. Lifted in by Trossard. Up but not fully away and Ketia controls it. Back it goes to Saka. Smith Rowe. Digs it in. Drops the party. And it's scooped away. Jesus. Well, Gabriel is appealing for a penalty. Caicedo is just in the business of shielding it from his former teammate Leandro Trossard. And making sure his side get a goal kick. This is why they're appealing. Oh, it's a ridiculous appeal. Thomas Partey miscontrolled it. Well, maybe not the worst appeal in the world from that angle. Colwell goes long. Matoma just about gets it back. Beautifully lifted forward to Estepinian. 
superbly done. Look at that outside of the boot. Estepina never tires. Down the right hand side he goes. Bonanotte, who's clearly been tasked with keeping the ball. And he does that, keeps it ticking over. Albion trying to use up some of the available time. Bit of game management. Now Colwood over the top it goes. Calls for Undav. Is he offside? He's not. And Ramsdale makes the save from a tame shot. He may well have been called offside there, Undav, but now he commits the foul. Ricochet here and it's fallen for Undav and Undav lifts it in and it's there, Dennis Undav doubles Albion's lead and surely all three points are going to Brighton. De Zerbi leads the celebrations on the touchline, that is a huge goal. Arsenal can't believe it, they look shattered. Their title dream in tatters, whereas Albion's European dream edges another step closer thanks to Dennis Undav. He's well on side, Trossard with the flick, Ramsdale wasn't swift enough off his line and that is a measured finish under pressure. Dennis Undav made the sublime look simple. Wonderful finish, and Albion go two up at the Emirates. Brilliant. Oh, look at how much he loves it. Roberto De Zerbi, full of passion, full of joy. His side have bounced back in the best possible way from defeat against Everton. is still not done. Arsenal have goals in them yet as Mitoma is clipped. Thomas Partey goes into the book and Albion will take their time over this. Look at the scenes in the away end. Stark contrast to those in the home end. Silence around the Emirates, apart from behind Aaron Ramsdale's goal. Well, Beck thought he'd dance beyond the ball, but Undav penalised for a foul. What an incredible stroke of luck in some ways that Enciso forced off injured because they brought on Undav and the German has found the best possible finish and now he goes again towards Bonanotte. Tierney is there. Albion in complete control. this one. Jason Steele, absolutely zero risk strategy there, hammer it forward. Well one back, Bonanotte just about hangs on to it.
Colwell towards Caicedo. What's he doing there? The right back advancing forward. Mitoma was heading forward in support. Caicedo couldn't find him. Another crunching tackle from the Ecuadorian who has been outstanding again. Genuinely a superb performance. Never seems to put a foot wrong. Eight minutes to be added at the end of this one. It's still not done. Smith Rowe. Colwell. Callister's touch, Caicedo, Welbeck, he'll hold it, Buonanotte will stretch to keep it in. Great flip there, Undav, rolls Kivior, Undav, what a ball, Mitoma in for three, well blocked. Caicedo. Caicedo caught by Nelson. Frustration for Nelson. Summing up Arsenal's frustrating afternoon. Estepinian and Estepinian's now caught, he was offside anyway. Two of the allotted eight minutes have been used up. Time running out in the game and on Arsenal's title challenge. This result would leave Manchester City needing just one more win from their remaining three games to seal a third straight title. Arsenal still determined to avoid that fate. Nelson blocked. The quality just hasn't been there for Arsenal when they've needed it today. But when Brighton needed a heroic performance to bounce back from the drubbing at home to Everton. They have found it and found it in spades. Quite brilliant throughout the team today. Arsenal just wanting to get a goal to add some jitters to these final minutes. Nelson skips to the byline. Tierney, time to set, time to cross. Headed away. Albion repelling everything. Kivior, he's absolutely gifted it to Mitoma here, now Estepinian, Mitoma goes, McAllister, dancing feet but can't get past Bukayo Saka, Party. Nelson again. Trossard. Good spin from Enketia. Enketia, great tackle from Caicedo. How good was that? It had to be perfect, and invariably with Moises Caicedo, it is. Enketia thought he was away. Wonderful. 
from Caicedo. Absolutely wonderful defending. The Emirates is empty. The celebrations will be coming from the away end as Undav holds it up and wriggles clear. Welbeck into space. He's got Buonanotte to his right. Now Undav. Undav lines it up and Ramsdale with the save. Estepinian is three. Estepinian's first goal for the club is the icing on the cake in an absolutely heroic Albion display. Three goals, all three points. Europe edges ever closer. It's another win at the Emirates for the Seagulls. Absolutely incredible. Esther Pignan, an assist and a goal. Man of the match display from him. Undap hit it, Esther Pignan well on side again and controls his finish. Just into the ground. Over the top of the despairing dive of Ramsdale. You can only turn round and watch it hit the back of the net. And that's what it means to Roberto De Zerbi, the knee slide. More passion, more joy. One of the best afternoons of the season for the Albion. Look at what it means. And look at what it means to those Arsenal fans. They can't bear to watch anymore. All season they've harboured hopes of the first title since 2004 in the Arsene Wenger era. Instead, they've been reeled in by Manchester City and they've been outclassed by Brighton in this second half. Mr Pignan wins it. McAllister. McAllister into Buonanotte. Good touch to Welbeck, and Welbeck will fancy a run here. Back to Buonanotte, and oh, Buonanotte just scuffed his pass, but Enketia did too. is blown the celebrations come from the away end it looks almost all over for Arsenal and their title challenge but for Roberto De Zerbi and his side absolute heroes from 1 to 11 a quite brilliant performance former Albion player Ben White on his haunches at the end those Arsenal players look absolutely shattered club captain Odegaard having to pick up his teammates such is their despair. Aaron Ramsdale can only stand and applaud. He was a, a spectator for Albion's goals. Brilliant from Brighton in that second half. Quite, quite brilliant. Three huge points and massive celebrations from Roberto De Zerbi and his staff. It ends at the Emirates. Arsenal nil, Albion three.